friends, we're doing your video thing. This is Luger, and this is Col Colton. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you said in class that one video with two guys from the class can count <laughs> for both of us, which we're banking off of it, and that's our grade, so, you know, you know um, uh, all right, but, you want to start? For the, um, let's get started, well, so we can start with the first argument, um, because I, I thought that was interesting. The first argument for um, the resurrection not having having not happened, the re resurrection of the ambit being not real, essentially, and for, uh, well, for, essentially that was um, that instead of the resurrection, the resurrection happening and scripture being real, it was that the um, the disciples in a uh, attempt to become famous, uh, they largely created the story of the Bible. They they wrote it. It was they they made up the whole story. And, um, um, still getting used to being on camera. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they made up, they made up the story. They made up the story of the Bible. Yeah. And that's the, that's the rebuke for why the resurrection didn't happen. Yeah. So I guess the, the main thing, the main response we could get from that is, I don't know, the fact that I guess Jesus corrected them a lot of times throughout his ministry. Yeah, I mean, who's going to like who's going to write a story about yourself making right? themselves look really stupid actually. Yeah, I mean, who if you're going to try and become famous through a story, you're not going to want yourself to look stupid within the story. Exactly. Yeah, that just or just on intelligence that kind of too. Yeah, really. Um I don't know. I mean, and there's just so many things that don't add up like uh I mean, first off the fact that they made up the story themselves like when you make up a story and you know, you want to become famous from it. I mean, you're gonna get as much fame as you as, as you as you think, but you're probably gonna be willing to like die for it or exactly what burned in oil three times. And I think that's twice, but I mean, he, yeah. honestly, like he didn't even die. That was John. He didn't even die from it. And, yeah. I mean, he honestly, if that would have just been like made up lie, I think he would have recanted it like at that point. Because I mean, he wants to go through the pain. Yeah, for seriously. A lie. No, I mean, and what are the, I think we I mean, there's four recorded cases of martyrdom with, amongst the disciples. I'm pretty sure there's. Or is there yes, more? There's I quite a few. I don't know a specific. Yeah, number. I remember that being in my notes, but um, uh, I mean, yeah, it just it just wouldn't make any it just wouldn't make any sense to stand up for something that you made up just you know, to glorify yourself. And a, you don't you don't you, you're making yourself look you're just making yourself not look as intelligent because I mean they had Jesus speak in metaphors and you know they didn't understand they had to have Jesus correct them and nearly every time Jesus tried to tried to teach and I mean that just that this doesn't glorify yourself in a way that you would want to have yeah, something that makes you famous. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know how much to add to that. Yeah. Um, also, I mean, just think about, like, um, I mean, also, just think about somebody just trying to make up Christianity. Yeah. I mean, it's had a lot of influence on See how, I don't know, I feel like if you made up a lie, you would make it so elaborate and just, I don't know, hard to, I don't know, I don't, I don't really know how to, uh, like talk about this earlier, if you can help me spark Well, I'm right. basically just like, I mean, just think about how impactful and how deep and elaborate and complicated, and th there's still some parts that people debate about today in the Bible, mm -hmm. just to make that up. Exactly. Yeah. I just, uh, that's, that's all I got, honestly. <laughs> um, I mean, well, I mean, you can also move on to, um, to think about, uh, something, say, like, like say, take the take the classical argument, um, uh, kind of to, to to shift ideas here. Um, but this more in being uh, this more in regards to Jesus being Lord. Um, first off, the New Test the, the New Testament says that um, says that Jesus is Lord. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, the, the, yeah. I mean, it could be true or false. Yeah, the Quan Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess. If it, you just want me to look both through all the yeah. possible options. I guess if it's false in the first place, it would just be considering Jesus a legend. And, I mean, so he was never real. Yeah. yeah. And then if it's true, then it's either mystical, which he's a llama. I mean, but you know. Yeah, I like guess you can you can interpret it like if it's true, then you're going to either interpret the word like a mystical or a literal yeah, sense. Yeah, and if it's mystical, I guess that's where some people get kind of there. <laughs> The arguments that Jesus could have possibly been a llama, I guess the, I mean, you want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, yeah, sure. Part of it. I mean, I guess, I don't know, and it's just not like completely stupid, I mean, I personally don't believe that he was just a llama, but uh, I guess there was that gap 
from when he was 12 to when he was around 30 when he started the ministry, and I guess you could, uh, so that was the, uh, the, the, uh, the timeline, I guess, that I guess people can use to defend that point, and then yeah. there was also the point as to where he lived in a region where he could have ran into a lot of people, met a lot of people, I guess, yeah. encountered a lot of Eastern, Eastern, mm-hmm. just really like beliefs and ideas. Exactly. And I mean, he, I guess, uh, well, a lot of things can happen in 18 years, I don't, yeah, and I think that's where like a lot of people. I think that's where a lot of those ideas come from. That people think that he associated with with Eastern religions through either trade or just interaction mm-hmm. with where he lived, because of the geography of it, and um, you know that he um, that he can would could, he, that he conformed to those ideas and, and took up those those beliefs, and then he he went and he preached these. And I think another thing that's twisted about that is that I mean, if you look at the the teachings of Jesus. They don't correspond to it in Eastern in Eastern belief I mean, at all. In Eastern belief, says there's no such thing as uh, is it, there's no such thing as hell in Eastern beliefs. I don't believe so. I don't think so. I don't know. Just like that belief would, I guess, the belief in that he was alone would kind of contradict a lot of the information that he gave out in his time of ministry when he was a lot of his teachings that yeah. kind of went against the fact that he could have been a llama, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, if you're gonna say, you know, even if you're gonna try and go as far as to say that. Jesus was preaching. Yeah. Uh, hold that thought. Yeah. Hold on. It's doing good for a while. All right, there we go. Back in business. Um, but uh, I digress. Um, uh, I've always wanted to say that on camera. That was sweet. Um, I digress. I digress. Yeah. 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 Uh, if you're going to try and go as far as to say that Jesus was actually preaching and, and going out and, and spreading a Eastern uh, ideology, then, I mean, then everything that Jesus said, I mean, if that's what he was really trying to say, was completely misinterpreted mm-hmm. by his disciples. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and not just by his disciples, but the, by the common people that listened to his, that, to his, um, his camera makes it just sucks words away. It's, it's just incredible. His teachings, I guess. Yeah, just to, during his teachings, I mean, the, the, everything must have been completely misinterpreted because, because we, now we have Christianity today. Right? Exactly, that probably would make him like one of the worst teachers of all time. I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, oh, oh no. my goodness. I'm going to kill this thing. I just think we should just hold it. Yeah. Just to keep track of time. Yeah. Alright. I mean, but anyway, yeah, I mean, just... It just it just wouldn't make any sense. Like I, I don't I don't know where you get the support that Jesus became a llama. I mean I do see like the the gap. Like I do understand you know where you could um, derive that idea that he did you know adopt those ideas, yeah. but none of the facts match up. Yeah, I mean there's the gap, but besides that you're just kind of trying trying to fill in the blanks with I guess data that's not backed up in the Bible or the, his teachings or the disciples that spread his word. I mean it's just I don't know. I guess that wouldn't really work. Yeah, I know. And also, and, and, and then moving past that, I mean, it, it, it moved past the whole llama idea because you had the, the, the New Testament, the word is true, and then you can interpret this in a literal sense or in a mystical sense. The mystical sense was that he's a llama, but yeah. now you interpret it, in a, interpret it in a literal sense, not literal in the idea of, um, like, an infallibus or an inheritance. Like, that's not what I mean. It's just, like, in the literal word, like, the words on the page are correct what they're saying. And, um, uh, if you then accept that is true, then you have Jesus as Lord. Mm-hmm. And Jesus is God because that's what the word says. Yeah. And then if you did, but if you deny that, then you go to the idea of Jesus being a madman or crazy. Mm-hmm. Liar or lunatic. Yeah. Um, I mean, try to spark my memory on this. Um, well, just, um, I mean, just the, the fact that, I mean, a madman would come out and, and say these things and and act the way that he did. I mean, that, that's just that just that just doesn't really seem to add up. I mean, similar to the to the llama idea, just that. I mean, I just I just don't there's just, I just don't see the logic behind that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I really take this. I don't know if like people. I mean, Christianity is spread like crazy. Like once he resurrected, I mean, if, if people don't even believe the fact that he resurrected, there's there was like a sudden explosion of Christianity. Yeah. And if people would have seen him as a uh, I guess a lunatic. Yeah. I mean, I don't think anything would have happened with Christianity. I think it would have died down fast. They're like, 
know, this cat's a madman, but I mean, he made a big difference and like he's affected the world. Yeah, in yeah. immense ways. I mean, in ways that I mean, he, I mean, he's one of the most influential, I mean, historical characters in, in history. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not Christian, you have to acknowledge that fact. Yeah, and there, and there are Christians, um, and I'm sorry, there are non-Christians, there are atheists that. Um, that will, I mean, still admit to the existence of Jesus. They may have different interpretations of it, but I mean, all the tests are back. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, and uh, just, I mean, I guess you can move back to the. I'm just moving back to the whole idea of the, you know, the resurrection being true or false. I mean, I just, uh, I mean, just in terms of of them making making up the story, or also there, there's another argument that say. Uh, uh, that the, the disciples were all really gullible, and they're all just kind of just kind of dumb and say they're just workers. And, and the the women from the tomb came, and they told the story um, of Jesus to the disciples, who then believed it. But then you have the same the same issues there. Yeah, I mean, women in that town were not respected at all. So why would they believe anything a woman would say in the first place? I didn't think about that. Yeah, that just kind of popped my head out of nowhere. I guess yeah. uh, women were kind of held to like a lower standard during that time. I mean, I mean if two women came into a town, I honestly think that if that was the case, they would not have believed the women at all. They would have thought they were crazy. Yeah, and and even and even if they were, like, the, I mean, the, the argument state is, is trying to argue the fact that, like, they're extremely gullible men. But, I mean, even if they are, then you have the same issues with the women that you did back when the, if you're trying to argue that the disciples made up the story, well, if the women made up the story, then you have the same, yeah, the same, same problems. Same problems, yeah. Um, I mean, because the women are mentioned. They, I mean, they are mentioned in the Bible. They are they are used by name. I mean, that could be a, an outlet through which you would want to try and achieve fame. But I mean, even still, you're just it just doesn't add up in my head. Exactly. Like, well, no, I mean, if they, it was still made up by them, and the women are held low in that time. Why would they include the women in the first place? Yeah, exactly. It just kind of goes back to the beginning. Kind of. Yeah. All the arguments kind of kind of cool. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But uh. Kind of cool. Chuck deuces and do duck faces. And now we're going to talk.